The sanctions placed on owner Roman Abramovich and the sale of the club overshadowed the final months of last season for Chelsea. Fans are now waiting to see what the future brings under new owner Todd Bowley. The club let go of Romelu Lukaku, who was the biggest disappointment of last season and claimed by some to be one of the biggest flops in Premier League history. The Belgian beast will play at home again for the coming season at Inter Milan. They also lost two quality centre-backs to Spanish giants on free transfers, Rudiger to Real Madrid and Christensen to Barcelona. They bought in Raheem Sterling from Man City for £56 million and Koulibaly for around £33 million from Napoli. But the work is not done yet. Here are five possible transfer targets for the Blues. Number 1. Presnel Kimpembe Despite the arrival of Koulibaly, Chelsea are in need of defenders after both Andreas Christensen and Antonio Rudiger left the club this summer. And according to Sky Sports, Chelsea have been in talks with Man City over a deal to re-sign their former academy player, Nathan Ake. However, after being told by City to look elsewhere, Chelsea are now reportedly looking at Presnel Kimpembe. The French centre-back featured in a total of 41 games for PSG last season and will not be cheap. Nevertheless, The Athletic reports that the two clubs are already in talks over a possible transfer. Number 2. Jules Koundé Koundé is another target for that centre-back spot. Sevilla's director of football, Monchi, spoke to Mundo Deportivo, suggesting that a number of clubs from England were interested in signing Koundé this summer. According to the Mirror, Chelsea have held an interest in Koundé for some time, and it's likely that the Premier League side will strike a deal. However, Barcelona is the biggest rival of Chelsea for Koundé, as Barca manager Xavi is a big admirer of the 23-year-old. At the moment, it seems that Koundé is a lost case for the Blues, after Fabrizio Romano's recent tweet that a verbal agreement between Barca and Sevilla was in place. Number 3. Rafael Liao Portuguese star Rafael Liao has been the biggest target of the Blues for some time now. However, Serie A giants AC Milan are refusing to sell their youngster for anything less than his £127 million release clause. Rafael Liao enjoyed a fine season with AC Milan, attracting the attention of several clubs across Europe. He was the star of the show, helping AC Milan win the league after 11 years. The Portuguese international played 42 games, scored 11 and assisted 10 in all competitions. With Liao happy in Milan and the club not interested in selling, a move to Chelsea seems unlikely, but the Blues have the ability to make a huge offer which could see the deal get done. Number 4. Serge Gnabry Bayern star Gnabry is another forward on Tom Tuchel's radar especially as the West London club have lost out to Barcelona in the race for Leeds playmaker Rafinha. However, this transfer seems unlikely despite a £34 million offer because of Gnabry's ties with Arsenal, as he spent five years at Arsenal between 2011 and 2016. Sky Germany have claimed that Gnabry is edging closer to signing fresh terms with Bayern, with just a year remaining on his current contract at the Bundesliga side. Number 5. Jonathan Claus Chelsea have reportedly received the green light to conclude a deal for Lyon's wing-back, Jonathan Claus. The Premier League club are understood to have opened talks over the signing of one of the most consistent performers in Ligue 1 last season, with Claus going on to win four caps for France. His outstanding form has attracted the likes of Chelsea, while Atletico Madrid are also keen. However, the Blues are seemingly leading the race for a player with just 12 months left on his contract. Despite favouring playing at wing-back, he can also play as a traditional full-back, those qualities fit right in for Thomas Tuchel, who's constantly altering his formation at Stamford Bridge. Which of these players do you think Chelsea will successfully land this window? Let us know in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.